Hi, I'm Chrissy. I'm Roadside Patrol. Today we're going to be working through what we would look to find under your bonnet and what we would endeavour to check. We would be looking at things like engine oil levels, coolant levels, brake fluid, battery and windscreen wiper fluid. As we know out there, there are multiple different models of vehicle on the road. So identifying things under the bonnet can sometimes be challenging. But manufacturers do give us a little bit of a heads up. They can identify some components by yellow markings to show you things that you can check under the bonnet. For instance, dipsticks, fluid caps and a washer bottle. We'll start off with our engine oil. First thing we want to make sure is the vehicle is on flat level ground. We're going to pull the dipstick out and we're going to wipe it. Then we're going to put it down back into the cylinder or the tube. We're going to pull it out again and this is where we can read the oil level. When checking our cooling system, we always want to make sure that the engine is off and the cooling system is cool. If we were to take this off while the engine had the cooling system under pressure, you could be severely burnt. Our battery, we can be checking things like tightness of terminals. We also can be looking for acid buildup if it's got white powder substance over there, gloves. So that can be cleaned off by the simple application of some water, a bit of bicarb soda out of your pantry cupboard. We sprinkle it on dry and then we just drip water on and it'll start to foam and it'll actually neutralize that acid. We should also check our brake fluid level. This does not mean we need to remove the cap or anything. If you can't quite see it, we do the wiggle test. We just give them a little bit of a wiggle, shake the car, and it'll, you could be able to see the fluid level there. So that's what's under the bonnet of our vehicle when we're doing a basic car maintenance check. Recently, we held a workshop with Connected Women, and these are some of the amazing questions they asked. On all the different cars, are they all in the same sort of position, all these things? They can be different on most cars. Does it have like an, a name on the top saying oil or? Engine oil, it does. Yeah. On most cars or the picture. So this one here is a hybrid vehicle. So what we would also suggest as a safety thing, anything orange or bright red, stay away from, don't touch, because it's high voltage and it can be dangerous. Leave it for the service professional to deal with. And do you need to check the battery? Well, as a rule, I would say just when it's getting serviced, if, if you're someone that doesn't do a lot of kilometres, you service it once a year, just opening the bonnet when you're checking oil, just having a visual look. When we take the car for service, um, they gave us either a time frame, like come back in six months, or um, by kilometre, like if you're gone like 700 kilometre. Which one is more accurate? Which one we should rely on more? Okay, so I believe by kilometres, but, but there is a balance there, okay? Yeah. So if it's taking a long, long period of time to get to those kilometres, things do wear out with age. So we generally would like to say that you would like a service every 12 months. RAC, for the better.